Hey guys, this is Steve. I'm just going to show a really quick video of Next and how I would uh, set this up with the DX6i that I showed earlier on Real Flight with that same six channel configuration where I have throttle hold on channel six and flight mode is on channel five on the transmitter. So this is a brand new fresh installation of Next. So I'm going to go into input device here. I'm using the Spectrum wireless dongle, DSMX. This would look about the same if you had a wireless trainer port to USB type interface of any kind, any generic one. So I'm going to come in here and kind of muddling through this. I've never actually done this before on Next. So I think we'll just do it with the start calibration here and see what we get. So I believe it's going to show up as a joypad on here. I don't know exactly what the difference is or if it matters too much. I think either one will actually work. Maybe we'll do both of them see what happens. I'll try joy joypad first. Center all sticks. So it wants me to move the throttle up. Next. And throttle back. Next again. Okay, it wants full right rudder. That. Full left rudder. That. Move your right stick to maximum right. So that's going to be aileron right. Hit next. All the way to the left. And then all the way forward. So that's the elevator forward. Then all the way back. Finish. So that takes care of the, if you look at the sticks at the bottom, they should be moving with your transmitter now. So that's all set and working properly. So then for here, we got to go to, that was for the model that we got to do our functions here. So I'm going to do flight condition. I'm going to go, I'm going to put my, uh, I only have two flight modes on this DX6i. So I'm going to go to flight condition one. So I'm, I'm in flight condition two, which is idle up right now. But flight conditions one is going to be your normal. You can do two idle ups if you want. Just do throttle hold um, if you want. In fact, that's kind of like what I recommend unless you're beginning. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that because that's what I prefer. You could put your normal flight mode on flight condition one. I think that's going to... I'm not sure. So these are, this is like normally your, I think this is flight condition one, is, by default it's going to be normal, this is idle one, that's idle two, and four is like a special slot they can, they have in there. Some of the helicopters have, have that available. So I will go ahead and put normal on, on one here. So I'm going to hit assign, and then throw, I'll tell it it's a, um, a switch. I'm going to move it to the idle one spot. Boom, and it detected that. And I'm going to do the same thing for flight condition I'll just do idle up one for right now for testing. So hit assign. We'll tell that it's a switch. And I'm going to move it to idle, idle up. So now we have our two spots. And then I'll, and what do you got here? Auto rotation, that's throttle hold. So I'm going to tell that assign. And I'll hit my throttle hold button or switch. Oh, I got to tell it switch first. Now we'll detect it. Okay, so now we got that in. I think they're already saved at this point. So if I just go in and try to fly, I am in normal flight mode right now. So yep, switch is working. Here we are. So I go I should should screw up if I go inverted in normal mode, right? Cool. So next doesn't have a normal mode. That's fine with me. Um, so that's flight condition one. So I'll switch to two. Do we have an RPM on screen? We should go by sound. So I'll switch to flight condition two, which is idle up. Let's switch. And it did come up. There's the RPM up there. 1900. Comes up to a little bit over 2000. So that's flight condition two that we set.
that's about it. We'll do an auto. Maybe. <laughs> and there you have it. GX6i on the Spectrum WS1000. They're older dial. They have a newer one now. I think, I think they're exactly the same. The newer one's just sexier and it has the uh, bind button. It's much easier to push. Take care. Have a good one.